Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a different kind of video. We're going to rank these Nintendo controllers based on the most important criteria, my personal opinion. So as you can see, I've got the controllers out here, the original controllers for each Nintendo console, and I want to let you know which ones I think are the best and the worst. So, let's get started. Start with the classic, the NES controller. I know a lot of people don't like how jagged the corners were on this one. I've always found this to be a pretty comfortable controller to play with. I've got pretty, you know, decent sized mitts, but this one always seemed to be all right to me. So we're gonna start right in the middle here, as any one of these videos should. Next, the Super Nintendo, the mighty Super Nintendo. I love this controller. It's rounded, it's just, it's it's got the right amount of buttons. They knocked it out of the park with this one. I guess I should like mark least good to most good. I would take this over the original NES controller any day. The N64. I see so many people make fun of this controller and I don't know why. It's, it's a great controller. It's got the trigger right in the right spot, the thumbstick. It just, it works. The D-pads, kind of pointless. I don't know too many games that actually used it. And there's a really cool thing in games like GoldenEye and there's uh, Pod Racing. You can use two of these and get the first dual analog FPS sort of situation. Look, it's it's right, you know, it, it evaded me in the, the entirety of my childhood. In 007 the, in the controller settings, there's actually a dual controller option built into the game. And it's fantastic. I'm gonna put this, and it's probably gonna get, this is gonna be the hot take probably. I'm putting this above the NES and below the Super Nintendo controller in terms of comfort. Next up is the GameCube controller, the other black sheep, if you will, of the Nintendo family. People give this controller a lot of crap, and I get it. Like, the, the D-pad is way too small. The C buttons, again, not for, for as little as you use them. They're, they're just kind of in a dumb spot. I, I don't know. I hate this controller. But I think in terms of usability, it's kind of just... <clears throat> We're going to put this right down here. We're going to say the NES way more comfortable than the GameCube. The Wii. I think one of the most underrated systems in Nintendo ever. You could do so much with the Wii. You could mod it to do homebrew stuff. Uh, wasn't the first Nintendo console wireless controller, that was actually the NES. In fact, this here is the Acclaim Double Player, and it had a wireless dongle, and this was made for the NES. It's terrible. <laughs> it's just the biggest, clunkiest... You, know, you put it... It completely obscures the NES controller. It's like... It, it's just so uncomfortable. But it was a wireless NES controller. It took four AAA batteries to run this bad boy, and if it was two of you people playing, it was eight AAA batteries to run two of these. But interesting little thing, they actually had analog wireless controllers back in like, I think it was 90, 91 or 92, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, it says 89 on it. So copyright from 89, that's crazy, crazy. All right, anyways, back to the Wii. As much as I like the Wii, I never was a big fan of this controller. The nunchuck part always felt really cheap to me. This part's okay. Um, if you do homebrew and stuff like that, this actually sets up just like an NES controller. So your start and select buttons there, but you have, you know, a directional pad, blah, blah, blah. Again, the D-pad's very small. They could have made that, you know, a half inch bigger in every direction or quarter inch bigger in every direction, I guess I mean, and made it way more useful. So the Wiimote was cool. The first Wiimotes though, these ones that didn't have like the motion stuff built in, kind of trash. We're gonna put them below the GameCube. Next up is the Wii U. Um, as you can see, I don't have one. So we're just gonna use this to represent the Wii U because my personal opinion of the Wii U is that it's a big old pile of <laughs> So we're gonna stick this right where it belongs. That's all I gotta say about that. And lastly, the Nintendo Switch, the dual Joy-Con setup. I love the Switch. I think it is probably Nintendo's most innovative console. I love the Super Nintendo. I will never dethrone the Super Nintendo, but the Switch is up there as just having it all. I love the double Joy-Cons. Um, I speedrun Celeste and Mega Man X, and having individual directional buttons instead of a D-pad 
make this controller super comfortable to play those games with, for me at least. And that's the opinion we're talking about. Mine. Well, I'm not gonna say this is better than the Super Nintendo. I'm gonna put it right up here next to the N64 because I think it's that good. So there you have it. From best to worst, the Super Nintendo, the Switch, the N64, the NES, the GameCube, the Wii, and the Wii U. That is my opinion. That's how I'm ranking these controllers. If you don't like it, blow me up in the comments. I really don't care. Well, that's it for me today. Thank you guys for watching my video. Been fun. Check me out in the links in the video description. Don't forget, you can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash RetroSetJoe. And until next time, bye bye